All right, so I'm doing this Achilles video outside because I'm working out. I'm in the the backyard merch, bruh. Um, it's been an okay, okay journey, bruh. This is, what, what even, what month is this? It is Friday, October the 11th. So it's month, about to be month four. I'm not back to playing the full game of basketball. I'm actually like, I can train in things, obviously. Like you'll see in the clips here. I'm obviously not going full effort because I can't explode off my right side, but there's enough strength there to where I can kind of make lateral movements. I can kind of hop a little bit. Like my vertical has gone from probably like a 38, 40 to like maybe <laughs> a 10. Um, but that's only because my right foot, my right, I can't jump off my right foot. I can jump off the left still. So I've been cleared to, of course, like do the treadmill, like a little baby granny jog, train, of course, workout, calf raises, weighted. Um, as soon as I'm able to get that single leg calf raise looking pretty and obviously at full peak uh, contraction and range of motion, then I'll be able to like, like get back to running, sprinting, playing the game. That's probably not going to be till January. I'm just being completely honest. So you're going to see a bunch of clips of me training, um, producing workouts. I actually have a few collabs coming out while I'm still on this healing path. Um, the strength is, is getting there. I can do, you know, standing calf raises go up on two and then uh, slow eccentric on the um, injured foot, obviously. I highly recommend that people do this, but if you are injured, wear that same shoe, whatever combo that you were wearing when you get injured, um, it really helps with like your, not acceptance, but like maybe it is acceptance. Because for me, like I was wearing those while I was hooping and then walking off the court is when I tore my Achilles. Freak accident has nothing to do with the shoes but the shoes are still very comfortable. I'm wearing them right now and they seem to be helping a little bit. But again, my Achilles is really the only thing like hindering the 1v1 progress of team stuff. But uh, as soon as I'm able to, I'm going to get back into like just showing up to random court, playing people, getting back in the groove of things. And then I'll be setting up the 1v1s with different content creators as well. Mug spun a web on me. Ah, to kill you, bruh. Yeah, yeah, spun a whole web on me. You switch my angle. I'm not going to disturb your peace, my G. Um, I'm just going to keep getting better, keep grinding, keep playing 1v1s and stuff like that. And of course, the team ball. <sighs> but, you know, it's there's always the mental portion, too, because sometimes you get sore out of nowhere or you know, random, like, you know, a little soreness from the Achilles. It's like, bro, am I even progressing? It's not so you get to PT that next day, which is another update. I've moved from two days a week to one day a week. So, like, the mental portion is there. Like, obviously, I'm getting better. I'm improving it. A lot of things but then there's like the portion where it's like i wish i could do so much more like i wish i could run like I'm, i may joke around and be like i only run if my life's in danger i actually truly enjoy like running i need to get back into it because i used to do it every day uh, i've only i fell off the past two weeks but i usually do 100 push-ups a day 100 push-ups 50 pull-ups um because i've trained calisthenics my entire life so that's not really like it's not going to overdo or injure me from overuse because that's low volume for me it's just the speed I do it at. I'll change the speed to make it more challenging. It's funny because once you get to it, like you start progressing, you start eating a little bit more because you can move around, but you forget like you still haven't gotten to that same point. So I probably gained like three, four pounds. But so I'm trying to go back. I'm trying to get back from, I'm 199 right now. I'm trying to get back down to 180. Oh, I just need to lose that body fat I've gained since surgery. Because whether you like it or not, it's gonna happen. You're gonna gain body fat during surgery or after surgery, unless you're just not eating. PT's been going well. We're at the three month mark. About to be four months, actually. Like next week will be four months. I've been able to do a lot more. I can do like a little tiny jog. As you can see in these clips here, I'm able to go work out on the court and cross up my girl, obviously. Working on getting that single leg loading back. Um, so the past like three and a half months have been like, okay, double leg and a bunch of stuff like that. Neighbors always crossing in front of my door. Um, but now we're working on signal loading. So a bunch of like lunges with the sliders and marches, holding the kettlebell and holding for three seconds, stuff like that. Uh, pushing the sled, I love pushing the sled. Kettlebell swings, stuff like that to get that single leg uh, elasticity back and the power back, you know, walking on my tippy toes, which is extremely difficult to be honest, unless I bend my knees and get more of the soleus going in there. Um, but that's really the update. Like I'm getting closer to that single leg. When I do a, a heel raise, it's probably half an inch or an inch off the ground. Progress is progress at this point. I'm just ready to get back to like full competitive basketball without having to like puppy guard myself playing the game so i'm just going to insert the random pieces of me talking outside and this will be the achilles preview make sure to like comment subscribe do all that stuff down below and i'll see you in the next one